Hello everybody, welcome to another quick video. Tonight we've actually come up to the Solway coast. Just over the distance there you can see Scotland looking really nice but the sun's going to be setting across some of the hills so we're going to see what sort of shots we can get. Might only be a one shot wonder but we're going to see what we can find. Got some lovely foreground interest, some boulders in the, uh, the rock walls here so let's see what happens. Now unusually for me, I'm actually using a tripod today. Uh, reason being, it's, it is very very bright, but I've actually got the uh, the filters on at the moment. Um, we're in the 6 stop and the 0.6 grad as well. Um, just take some of that edge out of the sky and try and bring it forward a bit. I'm getting a little bit of flaring coming through, but I should be able to repair that in post I think. But get some interesting uh, effects from it. There's some lovely mist coming across the uh, Scottish coast at the moment, it's really been hot brought out by the sun, so I'm going to try some, possibly some interesting little sort of different shots, I mean, you can see what will be uh, running out just in the distance there, uh, but yeah, so I'll try a few different things, and like I say, this might end up being a one-shot wonder, but let's see what we can find, and I'll take a few and uh, I'll pop one on now for you, let me know what you think. So I've got a little bit hybrid on this. I was using the live ND feature inside the OM1 and run that as a six stop. So effectively I'm sort of running about a 12 stop ND on there. Plus the soft grad, I've got a polarizer in there as well. Just take some of that sheen off the water. And I think it's given quite a nice effect. And it's quite an interesting sort of thing. Sort of, will the filter actually work with the live ND? At the moment it seems to be working fine. So I'll try a few more shots. Like that. We'll try and catch it the sun sort of crest down and we'll see what uh, what sort of effects it gets? With some really nice sort of light coming on the, uh, the sort of the rock pool sort of further in now. So yeah, I might try and sort of move around a bit, do a little bit of handheld with that, see what comes up. Now the thing we are finding there's quite a few people actually sort of further out. Sort of in the sea as it's sort of coming in and sort of around the beach so got to be a little bit mindful sort of with the sort of shots I'm taking so the long exposure is working quite well and so we're getting a few dogs running around so it's sort of losing that and I think hopefully if we can frame it right going slightly tighter in so you're still going to get this sort of foreground just so the sun sort of drops down beyond the, uh, the Scottish mountains in the distance um, hopefully it's going to come up really well uh, but as usual with any sunset or sunrise, yeah, it's in the lap of the gods really, we'll see what, uh, what it decides to give us, but yeah, so far it's looking quite pretty, I must admit. So the sun's gone down behind the horizon now. So I'm going to wait now, let's see if anything actually happens. It's going to get a nice afterglow with it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to take a couple of shots just over there. I'll just show you what I mean. Let me just pan around from where the sun went down. Also, some nice clouds there. But just over here, there's a wind farm. And a lovely orangey glow to the sky. Really, really subtle and really looks nice. But I'm going to see, I've got the 12 to 100 on the OM1. I'm going to see if I can actually get a bit more of a uh, sort of tighter crop in there. Might have, if that person stays there, might even use them in there as well. But uh, yeah, it's just so I can get a shot from that. So some really nice colours coming into the sky now, and just over in the background. Isle of Man's popping into view. So I've tried a few different things with the uh, the wind turbine in the background. I think it works quite well actually extending out that time. So I've left the filters on the camera and given it around about a two second shutter. So you can actually see just that bit of movement in the uh, the blades. Just helps tell the story a bit and I think it works quite well. But looks like the lights are heading off now but there's still a bit of glow over the hills. Uh, I'm going to try a few different things on there. Might do a little bit of a time lapse for you as well. But I'm going to call it a day for now. Looks like I'll take a few more shots but light's going quite well so it's not great for video 
but if you've enjoyed the video please do hit the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed please do hit that subscribe button really helps us out no end but for now from the Solway coast thanks for watching we'll see you again next time Thank you.